So Danielle joins us mm. now, and many of us here in Calgary are embracing the hot weather, but yeah. there are problems with it elsewhere, too. Yeah, up north, they didn't get the moisture that we got mm -hmm. with this last system. Um, they're getting even warmer temperatures than us right now. They're a couple degrees warmer, and they have the strong wind gusts. So not ideal conditions for fighting the fire that's there um, and for others to develop, of course. So we are keeping an eye on that. But here in Calgary, it was really just a nice day to enjoy. 25 degrees. We were thrown right into summer. Now it is gusty, 28 kilometers per hour, and we'll get even gustier up to 40 kilometers per hour as we go through the evening hours. Downtown, 28 degrees, COP 26, Big Four having its grand opening sales event at Tazaw Park. Tazaw Park's at 27. And tomorrow we're looking at a similar day, but with a good chance of some late day showers or thunderstorms. We'll talk more about those details in just a little while, Ian. Thank you, Danielle. Rating all the mums this weekend, mm -hmm. and we have to be careful with the timing of the celebrations. Yes, yeah, so if you're planning like a backyard barbecue, mm -hmm. have a have a way to run indoors if you run into that thunderstorm that we're expecting. Um, so just you know, I don't know. You got to consider that when you're booking the patio. If you've already booked the patio, um, we'll talk a little about the forecast, and you can be the judge of what you want to do for the Mother's Day weekend. All right, Capital Chef Skycam. It's a beautiful day today. We were thrown right into summertime here uh, 25 degrees so that's the warmest day of the year so far um, and also again this is summer weather summer temperatures it is getting a little gusty 28 kilometers per hour and it will pick up to about 40 kilometers per hour so it will be a, a windy um, afternoon and late day so through the evening hours check out these temperatures though mid-20s for all at least Fort McMurray is sitting into the high 20s right now. Um, so this is a lot of heat really fast for us. Now, for a lot of communities in central and southern Alberta, we got a good chunk of rainfall um, to help us through this heat with regards to keeping things a little less on the risky side. However, up north, where they have stronger winds right now, um, they have also the hotter temperatures. Um, and we're also looking, they didn't get the rainfall that we got. So higher risk up there. For us, though, we do have to, of course, be conscious of all the fire bans and anything that's in place. If you're doing any traveling around this weekend, make sure you look that up before you go so you know what to do where you are. All right, when we look at Calgary, we look at southern Alberta in general. It's a quiet day. We just have a little bit of wind out there right now and some cloud cover at times. We're under this ridge of high pressure that keeps things stable and we have that sinking air. So we're under the influence of that right now. As we go into the weekend though, this all slumps to the south and that's going to allow for some systems and some instability to creep in, which means later in the day when you combine it with the daytime heating, that's that fuel that we need. Well, we run into the potential of showers, pop-up showers and thunderstorms. So again, these are isolated in nature. For tomorrow morning and for much of the day, you're looking at sunshine as you can see. But by the time we get to the supper hours, that's when we get into the potential of these pop-up showers and even some non-severe thunderstorms developing and tracking off to the east. So Calgary, we have the potential of seeing that, especially by the supper hours for tomorrow, as you can see here. And then that will track off, die out a bit, and head towards Medicine Hat for the night hours. All right, check out Sunday, Mother's Day, kicking off with some sunshine for many communities, Calgary included. And then again, later in the day, closer to the supper hours, pop-up showers and thunderstorms are certainly possible. So some communities will see this. Other communities won't because it is isolated in nature. This isn't widespread. And again, even though it looks pretty scary, the good chunk of Saturday and Sunday will be a nice day. And you're looking at summertime heat lasting through the weekend, mid 20s. By the time we get into Sunday night, that's when a system does roll in that will give us more consistent rainfall in through Monday, even the potential of some thunderstorms there. And it will drag in a cooler air mass. So we're looking at temperatures in the teens for Monday and Tuesday. That's your Capital Chef five day forecast. They have stronger wind gusts right now and even warmer temperatures. So, of course, with the fire risks there, it's very different than what it is further to the south. But, of course, no matter where you're going this weekend, make sure you do your research and uh, file, uh, follow all the fire bans and, and all the protocols in place. All right. We have the heat. We're going to hold on to this heat for the next couple of days before the next system rolls in on Monday. Uh, and you can see we have the sunshine. So it's really a fantastic day to be outdoors. UV index high. We've been basically thrown right into summertime weather. This is summertime heat. All thanks to this ridge of high pressure that has built its way in. So it, it promotes that stability. It's sinking air and it keeps things nice and warm as well. And 
allows like a bubble for things to heat up further and further. So we will hold on to this heat. However, you can see that that jet stream in the green here, it really tracks to the south for the weekend, which is going to allow the systems that are tracking to the north to basically peak in to Calgary and parts of southern Alberta and add a little bit of instability. So when we have this daytime heating, which is the fuel, and then we have the uh, instability, well, then we get into the chance of those late day showers and thunderstorms. Now they will be isolated, but let me show you what it looks like possibly around the supper hours on Saturday. Then I'm going to advance this and show you what it looks like uh, for the morning on Sunday. So a lot of sunshine for Saturday and Sunday throughout the day, but then later in the day, closer to the supper hours, you can see this development. Now this is isolated, so it's hard to pinpoint, especially days ahead, where all these pockets are going to end up. But there is the potential of seeing a late day shower, thunderstorm in Calgary Saturday and Sunday, especially around those supper hours. We're holding on to the mid 20s. And then that next system rolls in Sunday night, which will get this more consistent rainfall on Monday and by Monday and Tuesday will be where we should be temperature wise in around those mid-teens. That's your Capital Chef 5-Day Forecast. Tara. Thank you, Danielle.